public symbols that hold a history of racism. Now, Harrison High School has been brought to question. Earlier this month, a group of alumni created a petition to change its name. After we reported the story this weekend, a counter petition to keep the name came out too. News 18's Micah Upshaw talked with counter petitioners today. She joins us live at Harrison High School with their response. Micah. Hey, Meredith. Yeah, signatures for the petition to change the name um, went from around 600 before we reported the story to about more than four, one, more than 100 thousand today. Now the counter petition that was created after we reported the story yesterday or Saturday has gained 4,000 signatures in a matter of 24 hours. Now today we're hearing why people want to keep things the way they are. It's possible to be proud of your school and at the same time appreciate the fact that that things could have been handled differently. All three of Christy Roberts kids have gone through the typical new school corporation and her son Matthew is a current Raider who will be a senior this year. I understand there are some awful things that happened and we can't change that but it was a different world then and I don't necessarily think that we can just we, we, we can't just forget it. The alumni who created the initial name change petition argue that while William Henry Harrison's history shouldn't be forgotten, his name does not deserve to be honored. Alumni Michelle Borton, who graduated from the class of 1985, agrees he may not have left the best legacy, but she doesn't want to see the school's legacy suffer. I was a Hershey Panther, then I was an East Hip Trojan, then I was a Harrison Raider. Then at Purdue, I was a Purdue Boilermaker. So those are maybe mascots to some, but to others, it's a part of your own history. It's a part of your own family. It's a part of this community. I think, you know, you, you take a history class at a school like Harrison, and you learn that just because the guy's name is on the wall doesn't make mean that he was always a good person. Those in favor of not changing the name have expressed concerns beyond holding its history. They're also concerned about how much it would cost and if this could cause a ripple effect in the community. This whole Tippecanoe County is formed and based on history that includes William Henry Harrison. So are we going to change the streets in Lafayette, West Lafayette? Battleground. There are other things that attribute to the area's history. TSC School Corporation spokesperson Sue Scott says that they have, they are aware of both of the petitions, and she says they will present that to the school board when both of the petitions are received. Now, the initial petition, um, those petitioners say that they are going to present it to the TSC um, in early August. Now I am reporting live in Tippecanoe County, Micah Upshaw, News 18.